much. I'm Rick Smart. I'm on the show 25 after the hour. We got your front page right here. Maria, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. Here are your headlines this morning. Amtrak canceled all long distance passenger trips in preparation for a potential strike by railroad workers. Good news is the strike appears to have been avoided. The Biden administration stepped in to help broker an agreement in the wee hours of the morning between rail workers and management. The deal avoids another major disruption to the U.S. supply chain, which would have sent prices even higher on many goods. And we definitely do not want that. Uh, in other headlines, Ricky, interest rates on 30-year home loans passed 6% last week for the first time since 2008, putting a major strain on the demand for housing. Uh, internationally, uh, China's President Xi Jinping, uh, I hope I'm saying that right, and Russian President Vladimir Putin are set to have one-on-one -on -one meetings today to discuss the Ukraine war. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, seconds coffin, uh, two seconds coffin <laughs> arrived in Westminster, where she will lie in state until her funeral on Monday. Man, that, car, uh, man, that casket finna go to Baltimore, then yeah. to Chicago. On a world tour. Woodlawn, uh, <laughs> 85 South. <laughs> Dallas and then down to Houston. Then we're going to take the casket from Dallas up to Oklahoma City and then through Tulsa. Then we're going to hit Indianapolis. Everybody listen to us on radio station there. Then we're going to cross on over to Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Cleveland. Uh, the casket will be there at the Cleveland Cleveland Brown <laughs> Stadium. And then we're going to move on over there to uh, Gary, Indiana, and then shoot on over on the highway to Chicago. That is a 20-minute drive. Y'all line up because I can't, they didn't send me the information. I got a whole route uh, for the queen. We're going to hit Baltimore. Then we're going to go on down to D.C., straight down 95. Uh, we're going through Charlotte, Raleigh, North Carolina, and then we're going to move down to Columbia. We're going to hit Charleston and then down to Columbia. And then we're going to work our way through Jacksonville, Savannah, Georgia. And then we're going to go on down to Daytona Beach. And then we're going to end it at Hot 105 uh, between in Broward County and then Dade County. That's going to be two separate days for Queen Elizabeth funeral. <laughs> then we're going to hit Gainesville up to Tallahassee, then across the panhandle to Pensacola and Destin. Then we're going to hit the Gulf Shores, Louisiana, Lafayette. Queen is coming. Uh, 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 Shreveport, the Queen is coming. And then on, on back over to Europe before uh, <laughs> they bury her. So everybody. No, we're going to end it and park it at your house. That's what we're going to do. hell you ain't. <laughs> I wish you would. Roll that dog on uh, glass hearse in front of my house. I'll freak out. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, it's, it's, it's going to be a trip. We're going to be hearing about it until Monday. So just hold on through the week. Oh, yeah. They just can. added Memphis in Memphis. They just <laughs> added Memphis, Chattanooga, and Louisville, Kentucky. So yes. uh, the, the casket will be there. And everybody uh, in Dallas, 94.5, going to be doing a live broadcast. <laughs> Uh, Vita Loca is gonna be sitting, <laughs> gonna be standing at the end of the queen casket with Vita Loca, uh, Vita Loca, uh, Nanette Lee, Skip Cheatham, Skip Murphy. <laughs> Everybody from Dallas gonna be there. Uh, it's gonna end at Cowboy Stadium. <laughs> it's gonna be everybody. Uh, and then Steve Harvey is gonna do the uh, the eulogy. It's He's a... gonna have it on the Tom Joyner cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the in the Atlantic the Ocean, Cruise. the dolphins, the whales, they all going to celebrate the queen. That's what we going to do. But I do want to end this on, on a lighter note. You said you going to build a torture. <laughs> Goodness right gracious. before, right before the OJ's performance. Don't worry about it, Maria. Don't even worry about it. All right, y'all. Let's OJ talk about the Keith World Sweat. Health Organization. They said yesterday the end <laughs> is in sight as COVID deaths worldwide fell 22 percent last week. That is the lowest number reported since everything came to a stop in March 2020. So that is really good news, and we're going to end the front page right there. All right, Rock T, what you got coming up in sports? I ain't talking to you, Ricky. Uh, Rock T, I'm talking yeah. to you. Rock right. T, tell me Let's about Let's go, baby. It's time for Rock T NFL Picks of the Week, baby. <laughs> I don't give you the over or the under. I'm just going to tell you who's going to win the damn game. <laughs> Let's go. Week number two kicks oh. off tonight. NFL Thursday Night Football is my game of the week. Los Angeles Chargers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, yeah. Justin Herbert is the silent killer at quarterback for the Chargers. But I'm picking Kansas City at home to win this game. Miami Dolphins, they will go into Baltimore and beat the Ravens. Dolphins are my sleeper team to watch out for this year. Tampa Bay over the Saints. Las Vegas Raiders over Arizona. Cleveland over New York Jets. Detroit Lions will beat the Washington Commanders. Cincinnati is going to go to Dallas and embarrass them boys and demolish 
the Dallas Cowboys, Pittsburgh over New England, Indianapolis beats Jacksonville, the Los Angeles Rams over the Ra over the Atlanta Falcons, Buff <laughs> Buffalo Bills will beat Tennessee, the Giants over Carolina, Denver over the Houston Texans, Philadelphia over Minnesota, and Seattle. It depends on who's playing quarterback. Seattle versus San Francisco. If Trey Lance is quarterback for San Francisco, <laughs> they will lose the game. <laughs> if Garoppolo is quarterback for San Francisco, Seattle's going to lose the game. So on that big, flip a doggone coin. <laughs> That's all I got from a Rock T NFL hey, Rock. of the Week. Yeah, dog. Special K. <laughs> Special right K. Be right between Music Soul Child and oh. Keith Sweat. <laughs> We're going to have to. <laughs> We're gonna roll the queen out. Oh. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Ooh, so hot and hot. You can catch me at the hot spot. It's the B R A T. All right. All right. <laughs> Bring it attached. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Brett. Brett. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm your girl, Brett Tat. <laughs> And this oh. is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. Abbott Elementary creator star Quinta Brunson took revenge on Jimmy Kimmel's Emmy prank uh, with one of her own, uh, Kimmy, who had Kimmel, who had distracted attention from Brunson's Emmy acceptance speech by lying, pretend drunk on stage, was delivering his monologue Wednesday when Brunson appeared. You know how when you win an Emmy, you only have 45 seconds to do an acceptance speech, which is like not that much time? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You get less time because someone does a dumb comedy bit that goes on a bit too long? You know, I have heard of that happening. In, yeah. And, you know, I have a couple of extra minutes to think. You know, a couple of extra people. Oh, to I thank didn't get some people to on Monday night. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yes, okay. take all the time you okay. like. I'll go thank stand you. back thank here. You. Thank you again to the Academy for this amazing honor and all of the fans of the show. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Emmy Award winner Quinta Brunson. Wow. Well, y'all, following the monologue during their interview, Jimmy Kimmel apologized for the dumb bit, and he said he was sincerely sorry, but unfortunately, he will probably do something dumb again down the road. That was a dumb comedy bit. People got upset, and they said, I stole your moment. I'm sorry, I did do that, actually. The last thing I would ever want to do is upset you, because I think so much of you. Well, Jimmy, let me just say thank you. It is very kind of you to say that. I honestly was in such a moment of just having a good time. Like, I won my first Emmy. I was up there, like, right. you know, happy. <laughs> I was wrapped up in the moment. But honestly, I had a good night. That's awesome. Love well, it. Brunson also said that she and Kimmel had already spoke but didn't detail their private conversation. And backstage at the Emmys on Monday, Brunson said the bit didn't bother her that much and noted that Kimmel has been a booster of her and her Abbott Elementary uh, career. So that's what's up. I just, I'm sure they just wanted people to know that there was no issues because it didn't bother them as much as it bothered everybody else. So for Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Who gonna all sing at, at the Queen funeral special? He <laughs> sweat. Ah, what are you uh, gonna sing? Uh, well, nobody. You know gonna do nobody. Yeah, yeah, well, right in the nobody. wrong way. <laughs> right in the wrong way. Silk, <laughs> Silk gonna be there. What they gonna sing? Uh, Silk gonna do like a medley. Who gonna read? Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge is gonna do promise. Who gonna read the cards off of all the flowers? <laughs> Probably Faith Evans. <laughs> she ain't doing nothing. She got a lot of time on her head. <laughs> Don't do that now. Don't do that to my girl now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not busy right now. Yes, she is. <sighs> oh, jeez, I'm crying now. I'm so tired. I'm so tired because we got all these TVs on here and everything. It's just the queen. I'm just sick of it. It's been three weeks. It's been a month. <laughs> they got to let, let it go. They got to let it go. She's being honored all over know, her country. They, I know, but they, you know. My grandmama, my grandmama yeah. cooked breakfast and, and cooked meals for me and raised me. My grandmama only got one day. Why did why the queen get a month? We gotta call heaven and talk to James <laughs> She's Brown. The queen. See what he think about it. Like <laughs> the queen of who? <laughs> England. Don't do that. She did nothing up for me. <laughs> she did something for us. She the queen of all queens, honey. There was no error, honey. We love. She the queen. was around when our grandmamas was around. You know. Yeah. Y'all don't think she did Princess Diana wrong. Uh -uh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know their personal relationships. You know, she, yeah, we stand, we stand up for Princess Diana. 
know what? We upset. We all learned to be a queen from the queen. Huh? Y'all, y'all what? She we put in a lot of work and went queen. through a lot yeah, of stuff. Learned nothing y'all. being a queen from the queen. Ain't nobody. I ain't seen you <laughs> dress like somebody on the <laughs> missionary society. <laughs> Uh-uh, y'all. Coming up next, we got the praise mix down with Dwight Stone. The time now is 25 minutes before the top of the hour. All hail to the queen. R.I.P. Yes, it's queen the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. <laughs>